All right, so we are working on a uh, 86 Dodge Daytona. And I've had to diagnose a few things on this, but right now we're trying to get the power mirrors to work. So we ordered some other power mirror switches. We're at one power mirror switch. Uh, this is the original one. So no matter what, so only you can hear the clutch in the mirror, but the motor doesn't turn on. I can't move it side to side. Doesn't matter which size of so the the power to the motor through this switch, this switch is not working. So the other switch that we got. This is as far as I've gotten. Doesn't do anything. It does, n it does absolutely nothing. So now what? Can we order another switch? I don't think so. It's hard enough to try and find switches for this thing. So I say we try and figure out what's going on. tried to get this switch working if I can the other one I'll probably the other one is the uh, the one that I will probably leave in the car if I can get it to work and figure out exactly how these are supposed to work It's actually a pretty simple, simple setup. This is your switch left and right. And you got your contacts here. So we'll see. It's a lot of green, green crusties and stuff in there and corrosion. I want to know if there's power in ground where there needs to be. And if it's just a, a terminal issue so so up and down looks like it's a center one but it also looks like it might push down these which is interesting just the way because it's just wide it is stepped a little bit so it'll push down on this first but it almost looks like it might actually push down on that too so right now in its neutral position this is going to be ground you get your black wire going to this rivet which goes to this plate so these are going to be ground. So we could have an issue there. Um, you have your pink wire here, which is your power. That goes on. There's a metal plate in the very bottom. That's your power. And then the contacts. You can see they move up and down. Either touching ground or power. So this should be pretty easy to get working, you would think. very often I feel like using it today trusty power probe I'm usually using multimeters or test lights but today I feel like using it Oh, 
plug this in. Uh, you know, because these rivets have green on them, they could be voltage drop there. Let's test this power first. We have power there. Do we have power on the rivet? So we don't have power on the rivet. Power there. Power there. How about ground? Around there. Oh, we turn that speaker off. So see now. This is, I should have ground there. I have ground here. And when it's resting, those terminals in there, are hitting ground. So I have ground here. But on this guy, I don't have anything. Open circuit. How about this? I got ground there. Got nothing on here. Nothing. So, oh, I might have gotten something there, but I'm getting nothing. I think that's gonna be a problem because you just do a light touch here. You know there's some little surface corrosion there. I get ground. Now if I push down on it. That's going to be Interesting. So when you push down on that open circuit, I don't get power on it. So we have issues with the contacts in here. I'm gonna try spraying it with some deoxid. It's hard. I can't get in there, and I can't take this plate off either. So I'm gonna take some deoxid and see if I can get that working. Maybe I can just kind of. Like move these around a little bit to try and scrape a little bit a little area clean let's give it a shot <laughs> this one switch in fact no I don't even I don't even need the other switch it's just the body body on this one's cracked somewhere yeah it's cracked right here so um, so I can just put this in the body of the switch and that will be good if I push down on this I have power now but I still don't have ground ground no power. I get power now on that. I don't get ground. So we still have a little bit more work to do. I'm gonna pick. Oh. 
my god. circuit oh. <laughs> well let's plug it in first shall we that usually works oh we have ground and then we have power ground power and ground there and we have power now ground power we have ground and power. I'm curious if this will work now. But what I want to do is I want to... I didn't clean the contacts down here. And um, I just got some sandpaper. I can just clean that up with some sandpaper. works. It's interesting because I think So brown, the center one also, the center one works. That'd be the clutch. Blue, which is the motor, is intermittent. So blue, so this guy, is intermittent when it comes to power. See if we can see that with the power probe. See, I got power. I'm pushing down on it.
That's interesting that. Get a good connection. I wonder if I just bend this up a little bit. gentle when I do that. And bent that up and now it loses its tension with the ground. And it's it's hitting. So it just needs to be I mean it's making contact, it's just it's uh it's not fry anything, huh? I think it's just the terminal needs to get cleaned some more. This stops. <laughs> yeah. Let's plug it in. We have ground. Yep, so we have ground now. Ground. Yeah, the intermittent ground still. This one's not correct, it's in good condition, just hopefully I can keep it that way. There we go. Tell you what, that actually looks really good inside.
our It almost seems like I just need to clean up the grounds. At this point, I was thinking I probably wasted a lot of time fixing that switch the owner purchased. However, I did not want to potentially damage the original switch by having that be the first one I would open. I figured I just got some practice in for this original switch. You know, is it worth it? I kind of think it might be because there's less corrosion. There's less corrosion on everything. Oh. Yeah. That's also the walk-in tabs broken on that. Ground, ground. Ground, power, power, power. Feels good. Right. I say it's good. I don't think it's going to be popping out at all. I have a zip tie. I'll zip tie the harness to here. Okay, that's it. We got, we fixed that switch. We have the other switch. I'll give them. And, uh, as a backup, which is also working to an extent. Alright, well, that is, uh, <laughs> if you're wondering how to fix these, what's on the inside, um, I think we, we all learned together on that one. So, well, that'll do it for this video. You'll see me on the next one. Until then, we'll see you later.